What's up, everyone? Welcome. We you just can't sit down. It's fucking hot seat <laughs> over there. What what are you doing? You got to sit down, man. We got to start the show. <laughs> Week seventeen. We'll play Swan we'll Song. Oh, oh, I can hear myself. Oh yeah. If you look no, right we're... there, you can tell his headset is right next to the mic. Boom. That'll change any second now. Uh, Wheat, your head's cut off. You're going to have to stand back up again. Or, or <laughs> Guys, can you take it easy? Crush. DJ Wheat's new to this whole being on camera production thing, so I please. Nice crotch shot. And... It's probably uncomfortable. A little shot. Yeah, yeah. yes, yeah. yeah. A little... yeah. Just take it Take it easy on <laughs> nice. give a little. Give the little guy a break. Nice. 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 Also, Wheat, it's doing that thing where we can hear ourselves, and when we talk, it, cuts, uh, it talks over you. So they changed whatever you set back. Audio wise, a long time ago. You want, to, you want to delay this? I'll hustle down there and help DJ Wheat set up. Well, production. actually, Jeff, I had another, I had another thing in mind. In mind. Uh, well, uh, now I can hear myself. Hear myself. So that's not what I had in mind. Uh, uh, fine, fine, fine. <laughs> but it was, uh, it was. Let's do this. I don't know if this is gonna work, but let's talk about StarCraft, Jeff. Let's do State of the Game yeah. One. Yeah. As uh, the this doesn't work at all. Except I'm in frame. Wheat looks very confused. Wheat's in frame. <laughs> <laughs> and Jeff's head is cut off. So this is about what is we should expect. Is my right? cut off? Well, no, no. no. <laughs> Only because I'm using like the state of the oh. game old school graphics. Roleplay fans, I told you. I like Maybe it. we do like... I don't know. It won't work. <laughs> it won't work. I also like... I couldn't find the original ones. So this is the Christmas one. Uh, Jeff, how's like a state of the void? You know... You know uh, uh, Oh, Ooh, this is really echo. echo. I love it. Love it. Does this like keep going? Space. Space. Yeah, I think so. Okay, <laughs> I, I can do it. I, I like. No, it's kind of okay. Um, I, you know, I'm really enjoying it. I think it is a huge step in the right direction for the game. It's faster. It's it starts off earlier. There's not that huge lull at the beginning. Um, some of the new units are really exciting. I, I mean, for different reasons, all the new units are exciting. The changes are good. It, it's an overwhelming step in the right direction. And man. Wait until it's not on all absolute shit maps. Then we'll realize <laughs> yeah. how good that's, this game is. You know, that's actually something I was watching today when I was watching I was watching Lycan's tournament, and I, I was just sort of looking at it saying, you know, these maps don't seem to be supporting the kind of gameplay oh, Legacy hello. of the Void wants to be. Hello. Now, which yeah, is I weird, hear them. because the closed beta is about, A, showing off the game so people are excited about, but B and probably just as important, is getting a sense of the balance and stuff like that. So we have a certain idea, but like half of StarCraft's balance is absolutely the maps. And uh, mm. these maps will not be played when the game's released. Not just because it'll be in many, many months, but because they're utter shit, and no game would ever do that. So it's, it's too, a little too bad. It's not, it's not ruining the experience, but it's, it's kind of poopy. Me and, uh, me and Wheat were loving the Archon mode. We've played it two nights in a row. I think I'm done, though. I think I'm done, because StarCraft... Is uh, is StarCraft still, <laughs> which yeah. is unfortunate. I, we were talking about it last night. I feel like they made every unit in the game that can harass like a better harassing unit by buffing some aspect of it, and it's so it's like the most frustrating part of StarCraft is dealing with harassment. Mm. And I know it's like a yeah. key point, but it's like you know, let's just pick up siege tanks that are in siege mode. Like that's it's a cool feature. <laughs> I like that one. Let's uh, let's make locusts you know be able to fly. I, like I watched it. a little bit of you and we stream, and and <laughs> I, I'm glad you're giving a little bit of this, the the uh, the thought process behind the annoyance that was the two of you. Like on hour two and three, it got kind of quiet, and you guys were like, "Well, you want to fucking are we pushing out? You want to bring a probe?" And you guys just like <laughs> the two of you are just frustrated. Just, <laughs> that is yeah. the it worst was. Crap. I mean, it was very. It was like in the first day, it was the shiny polish that yeah. was just like, yeah. "Hey, this is amazing." Oh, Adam, one sec. But then the second day, it was like everyone was just like, okay, now let's fucking play with all the broken <laughs> shit. And like, it was like, yo, this wasn't as fun as it was yesterday. <laughs> like, what is going on? Yeah. yeah. So. Uh, and the, the little Terran tank thing that just one shot something. Yeah. What? Yeah. It, the like little cast ability that just dis it kills whatever it's target. I don't know why I have toothbrush man. It's kills yeah. whatever is targeted is yeah. uh is kind of crazy. It's but, dumb. But it's yeah. dumb. It, it ignores line of sight, so it's like <clears throat> it's, it's just as long as you stay within its gigantic range. I want to say like it's somewhere between nine and eleven, which is in just a huge range. Then whatever it's shooting at is essentially dead. All the way up yeah. to like the portal. We were <laughs> we were playing like a TVZ or something, and the guy just walked up to our expansion and killed the queen. <laughs> and, like. Yeah. Two seconds, you're like, well, 
Can't do anything about that. That unit's broken as fuck. <laughs> like, what are we supposed to do? It's that dead. is that's the beta though. Like there yeah. is going to yeah. absolutely be that stuff. Like people are finding out that you can just do like a five ravager rush off one base if you want. Yeah, some guy did that to uh, some guy did that to us yesterday. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, kind of it, the popular thing. Just clones, but I'm I'm still really excited. The numbers are great. Like uh. You know, people are streaming to the up to ten thousand and stuff like that, which for our game is yeah, huge. True. There's interest, there's discussion. Um, yes, the maps are bad. Yes, some of the units are broken, but for the most part, it's very playable and it's really fun. So I'm having a good time. Yeah, I think Archon mode is going to like change the landscape yeah. for that game. Uh, I was talking with TB about it, and I I hope that they actually remove like two v two, three v three, and four v four from matchmaking, and it's only Archon mode, Archon <laughs> mode and one v one. And then it like it comes kind of like where League is, where it's all it's only one v one, and like they that's all they focus on. Or it becomes two versus two, three versus three, Archon mode. No, that's what I mean. So that's yeah. like six. No, versus no. Six. Yeah, like six versus four, six, six versus six. twelve and shit. <laughs> Commanding one thing. No, yeah. two people on each one guy. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, I see what you you're saying. You have twelve saying. people in a game. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be kind of crazy. That'd be kind of crazy. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, it's it's been fun. What else have you been up to besides the uh, legacy of the Void Beta, Jeff? Uh, last weekend, I had a Warhammer tournament in Sacramento. I took second place. It was a one-day thing, just three games, and I came... I went 3-0, but I, I went three points shy of winning the thing, which is too bad, but really fun, having a lot of, uh, a lot of good success with Warhammer. I'm finally kind of hitting my stride with that game as well, where I'm... You know, I took third last year in the overall league, so it's it's kind of... I'm one of the legitimate best people at that game right now, which is really fun. Um, by our metrics, it's, it's like not official at all, but I'm going to call it that to all the laymen so they think that I am super <laughs> Nice. Other than that, we're doing the Mortal Kombat launch this Saturday, and uh, really excited about that. DJ Wheat and I are co-hosting it alongside some pretty awesome per personalities. Like I think Ezekiel will be there, he's confirmed. Yep, he was talking about it. And I actually, I'm not like a huge fighting game guy. I watch, and you know, I'm a big fan of Justin Wong and stuff, but like, Fucking Mortal Kombat 10 looks actually really good. And yeah, I want to play a story mode. Predator's in it, right? Is that he's that's one of the play playable characters? I think. Yeah. Him and yeah. Uh, him and uh, Jason were like the two. Yeah. Characters yeah. from nowhere or whatever. That looks sick. And of course, if you pre-order, you get Goro, which is that's cool. Although Goro's supposed to be dead from the movie. I, I definitely saw him get kicked in the balls off a cliff. <laughs> but um, I, I'm just that's gonna be a lot of fun. I you know a lot of people. The, they know this about me, but they don't know how important it is. But like, I love other games. It's not. I, I'm not just a StarCraft guy. Uh, certainly, that's my heart and. I almost said heart and stone. I've been up to like 5 a.m. every day, guys. So my brain's at about weird capacity. It's working like a pickle right now. Um, but it's it's like really important to me, and and I love other games. So it's really cool to start getting gigs for other games and start involving myself. So I'm really excited. Cool. Does anyone else hear? Cricket? Yeah. Who the fuck has the cricket in their room? <laughs> I have what crickets. is that shit? Chirp, chirp. Oh, those are your live crickets because yeah. you're, you're a lizard. Yeah, Rhaegal's got heat, bro. They're for Rhaegar. Well, tell them to Rhaegar. hurry the yeah. fuck up. You know you can get <laughs> silent crickets, Jeff. Can you? You can cut their yeah. vocal cords? No. Totally. They've genetically engineered them. Yeah. <laughs> totally. Yeah, at the pet store, someone sneaks up behind them with a monoblade and cuts it their vocal cords. It sounds pleasant, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah. It's nice. It's nice? reassuring. I mean, we don't have crickets here in Montreal because we have snow. Holy shit. Oh, Rick. my God. Do you still have uh, snow? Don't right get now? me. It snowed today, JP. It's going to be 16 degrees tomorrow, a.k.a. Uh, fuck, like uh, 50, 60. It's going to be like 60 degrees tomorrow. And then Saturday, it's supposed to snow dope. like it's something ridiculous, like 10 centimeters. It's going to be so stupid. I'm, I'm going to rage. Oh, my God. You can buy. Sorry. Uh, I don't care about <laughs> your snow. You can buy 100 silent brown crickets reptile live food standard for seven bucks. Why did I fucking tell you? I was making that shit up, and I'm still right. Yeah. <laughs> but this Can we is get from, back to what's important here, guys? This is from Amazon UK. Where is the, the American link? Is this only... I'll, I'll help. I'll figure it out, Jeff. I'll Do you crickets, get your... crickets in America like have freedom big. of speech, JP. Do you get That's your right. crickets from Amazon, Jeff? No, I go to PetSmart. You're fucking up, man. Crickets are awesome. They sound great. Imagine if a drone flew crickets into your house to feed to your lizard. That would be amazing. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, I've got first... I told... I, at, when Amazon bought Good Game Agency, the first yeah. thing I said is we have first dibs on bots, right? And they were like, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> the drones. 
Drones. Drones. Drones bots. You know, bots. Same no, thing. they're not. They are clearly not the same thing. Right. Especially bots under are the for Twitch. Twitch. Drones are for Amazon. Vocabulary exactly. Oh, stay, Thank stay you. On bra- stay on brand, Jeff. Thank Jesus, you. Jeff. <laughs> you missed the meeting, and Wheat's still salty about it. Oh wait a second. Uh oh. Okay. I, th- I, I thought I clicked on my following thing and I saw these random people, but it was followers. And I was like, how did I follow all these random people? Go ahead. <laughs> I'm not interested in any of these people. Uh, Steven, how much snow occurred yesterday? Let's not talk about it. 10 centimeters. It's not, it's no good. Do they, they don't measure in centimeters and do they measure in centimeters in Moscow? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. God yep. damn, Weed's on point today. He's not even looking up at the camera. He no, knows he's right. No, I was right. just fucking <laughs> listening to Steven earlier, man. God, I'm using my ears and shit. Today. Thanks, Weed. I appreciate that. Yeah, I no feel, problem, bro. I feel a little support there. That's, I was yeah. looking up crickets that are silent. I was doing more important things than hosting the show. So yeah, that yeah. was equally important to prove me right. That's so true. Thank you. That's true. Yeah. Uh, anything else, Steven? What do you What have you been up to? I saw you did like a, a Sunday meal prep. What is this shit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, like I, I've been doing a little bit of Sunday meal prep for a while, but then I, I saw that they had a new Reddit about Sunday meal prep. So I went to r slash Sunday meal prep and I made this Thai beef stew that was up there Ooh. and it was fantastic. So, uh, yeah. And then I, that's what I've had for lunch every day this week. And it's delicious every single time. That doesn't get annoying. Well, I mean, I do the same thing, but that doesn't get yeah. annoying to you <laughs> eating the same thing every day. It does, but it helps that this meal specifically was so delicious. Like, you know, gotcha. I, I still have to like, I got to exercise that willpower by days three and four. But yeah, yeah. it's a weird thing when it, I don't know why we're talking about this, but it's a weird thing when you start thinking about food is just something that your body needs every day rather than eating for taste. Yeah. Well, like I, I kind of wish I could get into Soylent, but I hear that they have like a nine month backlog. It's really backlog. Orders, I still haven't so got it. And I bought really? it. Like, I bought it yeah, like seven it, it, months ago. I, I'm actually, by now, I'm convinced it's a scam. I, yeah. No, I forgot that I even ordered it until you mentioned it just now. Yep. I still don't have it. So. I'm inter- it's interesting you guys would give up on taste and just go for not, some... Not all the time, right? Like, I love cooking great meals, but I don't want to cook every meal as a great meal. Like, sometimes I just want to, like, you know, if, yeah, if I had a fine-tasting drink, I could just chug down. If you ever get this kind of change like this paradigm shift on money i will be your outlet for that like i will take the excess money you can just take what it takes to survive okay what money not gonna what? give me your money what? what oh i see i see where this is going okay, okay. Jeff. <laughs> you just need clothes and a house you know and it's not about money. It's about time saving and and like effort saving, right? I, yes. I'd rather use my brains to think about cat memes, right? I don't. Yeah. The more worry things you buy, the I'm more cooking. you have to maintain. The more money you have, the more responsibility you have with said money. Like yeah. Yeah. It's so true. I should give it to Jeff. There you go. Yes. There you go. Adam Coble, did you finish Fallout? Fuck no. You don't know. He's on how part to, ninety-eight yeah. thousand. Well, he still doesn't know how to mute his mic. This guy's like yep. a fucking sponsored hey, I was, streamer. He's I was, got a partnership I was typing and stuff. shit. He can't even you want me to leave mic. my mic on while I'm typing? That's fine. I'm no. preparing for this role-playing game that we're going to You know, that, that keyboard of his is really great. Yeah. It is. It sounds all mechanical and shit. It's I like, know. click, 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 click. It's very satisfying. I know. Yeah. Did you beat Fallout? Anyway, yes, what I you did. Said. Yeah, it took me uh, 25 hours, I think, give or take. But that's not that much. That's not bad. Yeah. I thought Fallout was longer. Was it Fallout 2? Yeah, Fallout 2. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you were playing Fallout 2? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I finished it today. I, it I, tried to, I tried to find box art for Fallout 2, and it was fucking impossible. <laughs> <laughs> but I yeah. found box art for Fallout, so sorry you weren't playing that one. That's why we're so stressed out today is because he couldn't <laughs> Yeah, that's what he was Fallout doing. Too. Not nope. just one of the many things. Eight-hour workday. Couldn't do All it. All of it. Googling <laughs> box art. Googling box art. Yeah. So what's I, next I on the stream, Adam? I'm gonna tackle the tackle the big new Fallout game. Uh, the I'm gonna play Pillars because I heard that it was just lots of text, and I love text. So who wants to watch me read boxes? Speaking of boxes, nice. Um, I like this. You you just became like a featured streamer, or you know sponsor, whatever it's called, <laughs> and you are kind of like a new streamer. You're about two weeks behind all the other streamers. Like they already did that for the week. Yeah, I'm gonna do the 
I'm gonna do the whole game. I think you're like uh, the sucker fish of streaming. I like that so far. Yeah, totally. <laughs> the the lamp cleaning up the detritus of. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It is sucking on the, the, the remora. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Still interested in that game? <laughs> Come see me. Uh, I'm sure that next he's gonna stream Bloodborne, right, Adam? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta do. I gotta do pillars first. Now the thing is that I, I actually want to play games that I want to play all the way through instead of just playing the first yeah. ten minutes of a game and be like, well, yeah. what's yeah. the next thing? Oh, what, all yeah. right, there's a game about zombies. Let's go play that. Yeah. Okay. Like JP's um, dedication to Bloodborne, he's having a great time with that. Yeah, I was gonna say like Jeff playing Legacy of the Void. Oh ah! no! <laughs> Year seventeen. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna play that. Cool. And I'm playing Heroes. Nice. Lots of Heroes. What uh, you playing? Sylvanas is in the game, right? That's the newest one. Just newest got game? added. Yeah, I'm a I, I'm I'm a Malfurion man myself. You just always Malfurion all day. Right now, yeah. Yeah. I want to play with you, Adam. I know. We're going to play, dude. This okay, let's do it. Okay. Let's do it. We, I think, yeah. out of, well, Jeff might, uh, Jeff might even be a bigger fan, but uh, are you going to go see Furious 7 this weekend? <laughs> I don't think I've actually seen any of the Furious movies. Oh, bless your heart, Weed. Oh, my fucking don't God. Do uh, don't do it. I actually, I haven't either. Wait, wait, I take nope, it back. I've, I've I have seen Tokyo either. Drift. Yeah, that's the, that's the best. Okay. No, that's the best one. The I best have one. seen Tokyo Drift. Yeah. Well, the six is better. Five and six are better than Tokyo Drift, but no. the first three Tokyo oh. Drift is better. Are you are I... you hyped for um, Fast to the Future? What? D did you see that? Was that the that April was... Fools or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they 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 cut together a trailer of like Back to the Future crossed with the Fast and the Furious, where they had Vin Diesel driving the DeLorean. It was awesome. <laughs> oh, cool! They got back in time to when Paul Walker was still alive. Yeah, it was great. Oh, <laughs> I didn't know too that was Too soon, Adam. Too soon. Yeah, that was too soon, Adam. Too soon. No. I'm going to cry no. when I see him this weekend in the theater. <laughs> I'm going to cry a little bit. Jeff, you don't, you're don't. you not a fan of Fury, Fast and Furious? I can't tell if people are being ironic or not, but like in the preview, it shows him crashing a Lambo from one building into the next. And I don't... The last movie Dude, had him like flying through a windshield. That's why they're the... fucking awesome. That's why they're amazing. <laughs> I can't. No, it's, it doesn't. You got to you got to get your suspension of disbelief on, listen, man. I, okay, yeah, yes, you do. <laughs> uh, that's why those things the new awesome. trailer for Mad Max, bro. Okay, yo, you're right. That looks good. Yo, let's uh, talk about that. Uh, it looks yes. pretty good. Yeah, it looks good. Yeah, that shit I, I looks actually, awesome. I specifically avoided watching that trailer because I'm already hyped about that movie. It, All I want is cars driving across the desert with fire everywhere. It looks like it's gonna more. deliver. I don't want to know any more than that. Bro. I can't wait. Well, well the first well, one was it's the original director, by the way. I did not know that. Did yeah. You? Okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like he's also the director of deal, Babe. Do you know that? No, no. He's the director <laughs> of Babe in the City and Happy Feet as well. Yeah, yeah. What a fucking I, range. I was having, I was having the greatest time because when I found that out, we were in the office, and I'm just like, like from the director of Babe in the City <laughs> <laughs> comes Mad Max. Like, how the fuck? <laughs> Fury Road. Who yeah. puts that that script on his desk and he looks at it and goes, "Yeah, yes, <laughs> God damn it, yes, this is it. This is he really does. within my range." Yeah, yeah. And then all well, the I mean, no, you can't it's have kind a of it's it's kind of like almost James Gunnish in a way, right? Like this is a guy yeah, that true. made trauma movies and then suddenly he fucking directs like Guardians of the Galaxies and everyone like wants him to helm their next movie. It's mm. yeah. it's pretty wild. It's true. I, I did think the first Mad Max trailer was better than the, the recent one. Just because really? of the music in it. It made it more like they're that all shit insane. Good. But yeah, they're all insane. I'm gonna, I can't, I can't I'm gonna believe you're not a fan of Fast and the Furious, though, man. Um, I would be if it was more obvious yeah. that they're trying to be ironic. The fact that it's so successful and they are trying to take themselves pseudo-serious. Oh, it's what, it's what the. I think it's actually the most successful film franchise of all time. Get out of here. I'm 100% sure that they what? are the highest grossing well, what film other, franchise what else, of all time. What else time. would compete? Right? Uh, like, Star uh, Wars, maybe? Hold yeah, on, I don't hold think on. so. Highest no? Gross. Star Wars has to be way higher. I mean, I could see it because how many... There's so many movies, right? And if, Lord of the Rings has to have grossed way more than fucking Fast and the Furious. Uh, let me, let me try to figure Hobbit it out. movies and all the Lord of the Rings. The thing is, you're know, forgetting... Man. Well, there's... I think JP <laughs> just tried to internet status right there, guys. <laughs> like, the, no. the Lord of the Rings was popular, but people okay, won't like I'm fantasy wrong. as much as, like... It is number... popular movie franchise... It's like number 11. Of all time. Harry Potter's number one. 
Eleven is yeah. it's got two ones in there. Oh, it's it's like being sake. first twice. One twice. Harry yeah. Potter's I first. Like, immediately after someone says people only fantasy as much, Harry Potter crushes it number one what? the most. Hold on, Harry hold Potter's on, not on. fantasy. Harry Potter is this, alternate bruh. reality. Does a little boy <laughs> carry a little stick with magic at the end of it? Then yes, it's fantasy. Uh, or he's masturbating. This website's yeah. kind of dumb though, because they have the Marvel Cinematic Universe as fourteen movies is number two. Well, yeah. And James I mean, Bond is. James they Bond all, with 24 they all movies. Connected. That counts. Yo, oh, yeah. another preview. True. Spectre. Don't oh, know yeah. About, no, I watched Daniel that. Craig. Uh, I oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that, I would eat chocolate pudding off Daniel Craig's dick, man. <laughs> I would. <laughs> I'd do it off his abs, but I wouldn't. <laughs> man, I'll tell you what. You can do his abs, I'll do his dick at the yeah, same time. He's, he, he's got those steely blue eyes, dude. I'm sorry. Daniel Craig is hot. Yeah, He's a handsome gentleman. 100%. Yeah. I agree. My wife doesn't agree either. She's uh, What? She's what? Some, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. What, I, so? I can't what is wrong with Anna? We talk about this. She actually has like really different tastes in it. It's, there's been a few times where she's like, she'll well, be like, yeah. he's so handsome, and, and he's not. And I'm like, honey, I, I'm kind of worried. Like, she's like, oh, but you're really handsome. I'm like, well, now you don't have like a valid opinion about it, you know? Like, <laughs> yeah, it's like, but yeah. she says that you're just like, you don't actually believe yeah. that. <laughs> you have no taste I, in men now. I, I lucked out. I lucked out. Anna's yeah, she's got a eccentric taste in men, and I, I qualify, I guess. So that's good. <laughs> Oh god, his face looks melted. <laughs> Why would you <laughs> say that? That's the nice part. Oh, okay, so god. so listen. Spe speaking as the only non-straight guy in the in the group here, okay, Daniel okay. Daniel Craig's body Daniel Craig's body is great, but his it's face true. is ugly. Let's is put it? someone oh. more attractive's face oh. on Daniel Craig's body in order to I'm with go. I'm oh, with Adam he, on this no, one. No, he's got like this pursed lips and stuff. I'm with no, Adam. No, he's hold got on, a craggy on, old Englishman. Not to make a deal, Jeff. What is it? So on subject. So. uh at Adepticon, which is the big Warhammer tournament, there's a thing called a crystal brush competition where someone paints a model, and the winner gets ten thousand dollars for a painted Holy model. Shit. Okay. Look right. up the 2015 Adepticon silver brush winner. It is a Space Marine with the face of Daniel Craig. That's it. <laughs> 2015 Adepticon winner. Adepticon. Adepticon painting winner or something like silver that. Silver brush winner. Crystal. Uh, Crystal Brush, I think it's called. Uh, oh my god! <laughs> Isn't that amazing? And that guy won ten thousand dollars for that. Holy like it. shit! <laughs> Here, it's this that that one, right? Oh, holy shit! That yeah, that is Daniel Craig. That's amazing. That is uh, that is actually it's just, really. It's just painted. Captain Titus cast <laughs> as Daniel Craig, or vice so, versa. That's so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> that is actually really well painted, though. I wish I could see his cloak. That's incredible. His cloak looks super well done. There's a back picture too, <laughs> and painted, you know, mm -hmm. tree on it. It's insane, Jesus. but yeah, the guy's got ten thousand dollars for that model right there. That's of course, well. there's a back picture. He's painted like Daniel Craig. Yeah. yeah. Hey. That's true. Uh, we linked it, guys. It'll be there on YouTube. I don't know. Someone will eventually link it. I'll probably forget. Uh, I don't know where we're at in the show, Adam. <laughs> well, I know for one thing, we haven't leveled up. So we never. On... We never. Yeah. Yeah, Planet is... Daniel Craig. And <laughs> everyone there is an ugly faced jerk. Oh, I gotta get my. Right. I'm right. gonna find my character sheet. I'll be right back. Continue on, Adam. Okay. Well, I have I have the the traditional pre starting scene to go ahead with anyway. So you guys can find your character sheets and get ready to play the game, and I'll I'll just narrate some stuff. So. Good. The swish the swish ends. We get our our intro song out, and the show opens. Uh, fade in, we hear the sound first of um, that like dull roar of a crowd somewhere kind of far away, like a stadium crowd through several walls. Uh, you can still hear it. It's like a, the low roar, kind of like the ocean. And we fade in on a dressing room door with a huge pink star on it that says Starlight in, in yellow letters. And we go through the door and inside, sitting on one of those little like um, folding chairs, there's a girl. She's... Um, Chinese, probably 16 or 17, uh, like bright pink hair. Looks like it has like fiber optics in it, like it's like sparkling. And she's got like a big puffy headset on. Uh, she's wearing a plastic dress and she's, like, huge platform shoes. And That's she's just looking one. looking at Facebook on her phone and eating candy out of a bowl. Uh, all the candies are also pink. Um, we hear a man's voice off screen say, uh, it's time, Nika. And she turns around so we can like see her face. Uh, and she grins and looks like right at the camera and says, let's do it, and winks. Uh, the camera fades, like we fade out, the noise goes up, you hear like a door opening, and then music starts really loud. And then as that fades, the black screen at the bottom says, two days earlier, 
and we fade back up on uh, the car that that you guys have, and um, like Higgs and uh, Prosper, you're in the car, and Higgs has just gotten the tickets for the show. Um, Adam, we're not, like, zooming in on like a little blinking red light under the car, are we? <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> Adam, what are you gonna do when we kill Nika Starlight, and then that whole thing doesn't work anymore? No, it'll be perfect. <laughs> <laughs> There's many Nika Starlights. I yeah, see. Nika Starlight isn't one person. She's yeah. a, a manufactured corporate entity, man. I see. Uh, I did I did mess up. I do want to say, uh, since this is the first VOD, I, I'm not going to promote this at the end. Uh, we extended the Swan Song shirt to Friday at like 10 o'clock, I think. Uh, two hours, yeah, 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock Eastern. So if you want to purchase the shirt, you still can. It's teespring.com. Yes. There you go. Adam, what's going on? We're all in a yeah, car. It's, it's you guys. What do you want to do? Because you just got these tickets. You're you're the you're the con man with the plan, Higgs. You've you've got five tickets to the Nika Starlight show. What 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 are you gonna do with them now? I mean, I I pass them out one by one with a big grin on my face. Okay, so maybe we're maybe we're in the in the swan song and you're you're giving out the tickets to everybody. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah I guess we get back. I don't I don't say much. I just look very content as I get back into the car okay. with Prosper and Mr. Sakarian. Then we travel okay. back. Well, cool. which, by the way, what new Adeptus Mechanicus models? They're called yes. Sicarians. Yes, yeah, it's true. Shut up. Yes, yes. and they're sword wielding, cloaked ninjas that steal <laughs> into the future, like into the forward parts of the board, and they kill people like assassins. And aren't cool. they like wearing like cybernetic leg, stilt yeah. legs? Yeah, yeah. Wait, Those are slick. Fuck. We should. We should. I should have had character names copyrighted, man. We could have sued. <laughs> <laughs> the suit. That would have been so good. Games Workshop. Yeah, we could have seen Games Workshop, games workshop the most litigious the company of all time. <laughs> They'd be like, God damn it, of course. We'll talk to this lawyer. Like, yeah. <laughs> yep. okay, we should have done it. We should have done it. Um, so, can we just, like, the elephant in the room is that there's five tickets? Yeah. yeah. And there's four of us. So, yeah, Who I mean, is going that, to be so happy? I was going to say, so here's the thing. You're back at the... Uh, when right. you get back to the ship, for some reason, Wu is, like, right at the door waiting for you, Higgs. And you get back, and it's just, like... He looks like a kid at Christmas for some reason, like, big eyes. And he's just, like, waiting for you to say something. And when you don't, he just, like, follows you around in the ship waiting for, like, the meeting he's getting ready to be invited to or something. He's, like, really excited about something. Sure. Um, I would think when I first see him, I... I don't know that Piani told him that I was going to get him a ticket, right? Uh, I think Piani did exactly that. You didn't tell me, though, right? We. Um, I don't think you did. I don't know that we actually had that conversation, but of course, when you're handing out the tickets, I'm going to ask you for the fifth. Yeah, I mean, I think that, that the, the he inferred that he was going to get a ticket when you were talking about Higgs picking them up, which is why he's so excited, right? He's just like... Right. He's there waiting, waiting. Okay, his... well then let's just say we'll do this. Like uh, okay. Prosper and Mr. Sakarian already have their two tickets because I gave it to him in the car. Uh, when I board the ship, I go to Piani's room and uh, uh, Piani, here's your ticket. Uh, we got we got uh, we got five of them. So here's yours. What does uh, do we need to give this last one to the uh, the the noble woman? What, whatever. I already forgot her name. I don't know what her name is. Lord Laura. McCurry. You need to give it to Wu. Why does Wu need to come? Because he fucking loves Nick of Starlight. Is he like right behind me when when he says this? Uh, yeah, he's just trying to be polite. He like doesn't say anything, and it's just kind of like. Yeah, I, I kind of, <laughs> I kind of slowly turn. I'm just like, Wu, you want to go to Nick Starlight? Yes, please. <laughs> we could sell the ticket, you know. <laughs> <laughs> he kind of like looks like he's choking a little bit. <laughs> Piani, you gotta you want to escort Wu around? I don't want him out there by himself. Of course. I kind of just quietly put the ticket in Wu's hand. <laughs> yeah, he takes it and like looks at you like, <sighs> thank you. Uh, I and he like nods again and then kind of like runs off. You can hear his feet like hitting the deck as he runs back to his room. Uh, so when he leaves, I, I turn to Pion. I'm just like, is McCrary's going to be there, right? The lo the noble lady's going to be there in the concert? Was that... I'm so into what I just did that I forgot everything that we were supposed to do in the first place. <laughs> She'll be there. She'll fucking be there. I, I can't remember. 
I can't remember. I, I'm, oh, we're, are, we're on the ship right now, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah you guys are on this yeah. one. So. There were two. There were two tickets for her that were already picked yeah. up. Um, like we oh, had to like right. strong arm the the dude, right. the ticket we, agents. We, he says. We. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I guess I go and turn to uh, Prosper, Mister Scar, and like. Uh, someone already picked up the tickets yesterday, by the way. Can we confirm with uh, Miss McCrary that it was her or perhaps someone who is working for her? Well, uh, we don't really need to, do we? All we needed to do was make a big scene about how Lady McCrary, Lord, Lord, Lady, Lady, Lord, Lord, Dr. Mrs. McCrary <laughs> <laughs> was able to, to, was going to go to the concert so that we can go. We can see who might be on the lookout for her, listen to the beautiful voice of uh, Nika Starlight, and then uh, we will find the assassins. Easy! Well, all right then. <laughs> uh, listen, I'm gonna go to my room. You guys, uh, let me know if you need anything. I guess we don't really have much to do till the concert, so I'll be around. Just kind of like wave off and walk okay. into my room. Cool. So as you're on your way back to your cabin, um, you pass the, the cabin that Wu is using. Um, the door is closed, and you can hear uh, like loud music coming from inside. Okay. Uh, and you think if you like, like as you walk by, you think if you like listen hard, you can hear Wu like singing along. Excitedly, uh, I record a little bit of it. I put my <laughs> just take out your comms deck. pad and just record it as, as best as okay. possible. Sure. Uh, and then I just go into my room. Okay. All right. What's everybody else doing? Uh, how uh, How long do we have until the two days? Two days. Yeah. So I can actually rest and get all my PP back. Yes. And if you have anybody who has system strain, you get back whatever one a day. Um, so okay. don't forget to track that as well. Yeah, it's Wednesday evening now. Nika's concert is Friday night. Okay. I just want to do whatever I need to do to get my PP back. Okay. My psychic so, points. <laughs> turn my turn, points turn, of turn psychic five, powers. everybody. Let's all, let's all turn five. Um, I think I, uh, I, I like... Prosper, like, so we, we investigated the possibility of Lord McCrary doing some kind of substance abuse problem. That was kind of a dead end. He's got a ship, the Kafka-esque, that was parked where? On Majid or something like that? So we've got a request out for docking information on Majid to see if the well, no, kafka it, it was there. It wasn't parked on Majid. Majid is a, I mean, you're, you're guessing because he has a drug problem and his wife suggested that he might go there Yeah. Um, for the good the good pure stuff from, from the source. But mm -hmm. you do have the name and the ship ID so that you can program the computer of your ship that if you're ever in the same system as, as the kafka you'll be able to find it. Mm -hmm. um, you can also send the ship ID, which I think Piani did. He did, yeah. Yeah. To uh, her friend uh, on yes. the to check to see yes. if it had, had to be there. Did. Um, yeah, and um, yeah, our ship is disguised as the scout ship Benedict Arnold. Great. Right. Um, yes, and I had a request out to Madame Alana Durant uh, on wherever I'm from. Yes, Cabral. Yeah, to uh, to request help in letting. Pi clear bad data storage. Yes, um, that's right. So, like, I guess, like, I'm on the lookout for any additional messages now that I've wired her 8,000 credits and given her a tip on Lord McCrary because, uh, like, she felt gypped that she had a desk job and I had a field job. And I was like, so uh, there's some tie between McCrary and Cabral, right? Uh, yeah, he was he was born there originally. He's a Cabral citizen by birth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, um, yeah, I was just like, hey, you know, free info, your higher-ups might be interested in hearing about this guy. Yeah. So, uh, until I hear back from her, I guess I have Pi, like, play every Nick Starlight CD on repeat in my room. <laughs> okay, awesome. Um, Piani, Mr. Sakarian, what are the two of you going to do? So I, we know we have two, have two days off. Yeah, you got two days to kind of do whatever you want. Sakarian's so uh, like moderately talking to Pi about working with uh, what connections we have to try, try and just track down like uh, checking cameras and that kind of thing. So I'm just I'm just cold calling officials and doing the classic Sakarian smile like I'm looking for my lost cousin. His name is such and such, and 
I was wondering if you saw him on, on some of the planets where we have leads and stuff. Okay, cool. So you want to call? Um, uh, well, yeah. Where, where are you? Where are you calling? Like you're just calling the like police force of various places, saying that he's gone missing, or? Yes, uh, stuff like that. Just the the planets where we have leads. Okay. Um, so Cabral, Majid. Um, but over the two this... days, he only works like four to six hours, and he's been trying to sleep off a lot. He's got a really bad headache. That he's been trying to get over. Cool. Okay. Uh, all right, and Piani, what are you doing? I know you're waiting on some information as well. Yeah, I mean, just checking on information, and like I said, I want to make sure that I, I actually get my full rest so I can have my psychic points, aka okay. PP, back. Excellent. Okay. And so uh, resting yeah. and waiting for information. Okay, and then um, Higgs, is there anything that you want to do? <coughs> to uh, try and drown out the uh, Nika Starlight, who I'm not a fan of, on the ship. I play, uh, what is the name of the song? Hold on. I, would, would it be, would I be able to, uh, have song, songs from earth? I mean, I'm sure, yeah, I'm sure some like music was brought along when people originally like settled Asgard Sigma. Um, you know, if we're capable of leaving earth, we probably can bring some of our music with us. So. I mean, yeah, you have, like, thousand-year-old classical music if you're into that stuff. Yeah. Uh, so I have... Uh, God damn it. Where? What is the name of the song? Why is it so hard? <laughs> um, How does it go? It's uh, it it's by John Michael Montgomery. <laughs> uh, I know... Hold on. Oh, here What's we go. That? Here we go. It what is... Uh, it's called Sold by John Michael Montgomery. Everyone can go and listen to that. That's what's <laughs> blaring out of my room. All right, the swan, the swan song has become a very loud place. Yeah. Okay. Sigarin on several occasions goes to people's rooms, squinting at them, and is like, <laughs> I, uh, if we could turn it down a bit. <laughs> you just so, see me in my room in my underwear with a bottle in my hand, just walking around dancing. Are you doing the, are you doing the point dance? Uh, yeah, sure. I've got, I'm doing the finger dance. Seems like so you're actually enjoying it and not just sitting there sullenly trying desperately to drown out Nika Starlight. Oh no, this is one of my favorite songs of all time. Right on. Yeah. All right. Cool. Um, okay, so I think that the next day, um, Prosper, you hear back from uh, uh, Durand. Yeah. She uh, she sends you a message that that it arrives that day. I mean, it was sent. You know, yesterday, but it it shows up today, and um, it's there's just a short message, and it takes quite a long time for the file to the message to download because there's an attached file. Um, she just says, um, "Got this diagnostic program from Information Division. Try to run this. Send reports by encrypted channel, and then she sends you like an encryption key for the like intelligence service." Um, and, and at a glance, she sent you, yeah, like an executable file. You upload it to the mainframe of the computer, and it runs diagnostics on the intelligence system that occupies that machine. So this isn't likely to, like, you know, I using my Maltech skill, I look into this program to see if I can sort of, you know, deconstruct what it's doing and make sure that it's not going to do anything funky. Um, and this is a program that's just going to diagnose, send information back, and then they'll have some other sort of step. It's not a program that can actually clear the data. Um, go ahead and make a make a Maltech check. Okay, two d six plus Maltech. Yep. Which is one now. Yeah. Right. Oh, nice. Oh yeah, I should, <clears throat> I should probably level some stuff up. Oh yeah, nine. Oh, not bad. Okay. Yeah, wow. so what it's engineered to do is access the memory subsystems of a virtual intelligence or artificial intelligence, uh, scour it for bad data, look for broken connections, um, not touch them uh, or, or anything, and then uh, report it back to um, uh, Farugi, to, to Cabral, uh, on a, uh, an encrypted channel. It's going to ask you for the encryption key and to execute. Um, it's hard to say how much of this... Pi will be able to like see or, or know what's going on. Um, you know, if you wanted to run it without Pi's n knowledge, uh, you might have to modify it. Um, but that yeah. would take the computer skill. I mean, Pi will, de will definitely know something is going on. 
Um, yeah, like, I mean, the reason I asked for it is because, like, I was like, hey, L'Enfant, what can we do for you to help you out? And Pi said, you know, I've yeah, got these strange people, blank right? spots. So it's it's not like I, I'm i trying to hide it from Pi. It's more like I'm trying to, to serve Pi in a way. <clears throat> so I feel like I would just, yeah, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> Sorry. I tried, I, tried I, to, I tried not to laugh. I really yeah, did. I, I think I would I would get this, and after I've looked into it for a while, um, I might actually, like, I would I would go to Piani and I'd say, um, Miss Peek, I have a uh, I have an interesting proposition for you. I'm listening. I have received a program from my uh, associates on Cabral. Um, it will uh, scour the memory subsystem of L'Enfant, uh, looking for bad data and broken connections. And then it will report the information via an encrypted channel back to Ferrugui and Cabral. And um, that will help diagnose what might be uh, causing some problems for L'Enfant. Uh, I would like to ask you to take a look at this and make certain that from your perspective as a computer expert, there is no uh, no malicious code, no uh, subroutines that will drain Pi's um, uh, processing power, anything of that, of that variety. What so do you think? basically, like, there's no words from Piani. There's just sort of this, like, suspicious, like, really, like, what type look, and then she just grabs... I assume you have this on some yeah, I've got data like, pad or something, or right? Or something. Yeah. I just grab it and immediately start looking at it. Cool. Okay. Do you want to do you want to assess the data as well? Yeah, I mean, I would like to use whatever skill set I could use to see sure. if I could determine if this is like obviously I'm not going to do it if I think it's malicious, right? Yeah, make a make a computer test. All right. Let's make a computer test. Here we go. Oh, I can Get use this 12. skill roll. Yep. Boom. <laughs> one. What? You rolled a one? I rolled an oh, eight. Yeah, I got an eight. Hmm. Um, okay. All right, so from a from a like a programming perspective, yeah, it, it it functions by analyzing the memory banks of the system, um, making note of bad data, categorizing that bad data in one of several dozen ways. Um, it'll send a diagnostic report, but you don't have access to that diagnostic report. It doesn't store it anywhere locally. It'll just fire it back. You think you could modify it to get the report yourself if you wanted to look at it, but as it is, all you could do would be run it, and then it ter itself terminates. Oh yeah, we want to do that. Yeah, absolutely. I want to be able to like funnel right. or capture the data. Can so I, I use my knowledge of Maltech to help? Yes. You know, yeah. So you can, this? Prosper. You can help. We get we get the hacker like montage of the two of you like yeah. hold over a screen hacking. Yeah. Both um, of us hands on the is keyboard there music? at the same time. Band? Is it like Swordfish? <laughs> They've got multiple monitors and stuff. Probably. It's actually Voodoo People from Prodigy. <laughs> okay. It's Straight the Hydra up. computer. There's actually nine <laughs> <of the> monitors. <laughs> <laughs> and Matthew Lillard goes by on rollerblades. All right, so um, I get a, I get a plus one from. I'm gonna, uh, so he's got a roll, oh, and if you can get yeah. a seven or better, you get a plus one. Yeah. Okay, here I go. I'll fuck this up. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> okay, nine. I forgot okay, we're using yeah, these. Those three D dice, man. Oh yeah! Oh buddy. damn! Yeah. We'll fucking write yeah. the shit out of those Wait, procedures. So why does oh? Th does the three D dice not work with the macros? No, they, they should. I think you have to turn them on yourself. Like, uh, I, I, saw, st I saw Stevens. St yeah, Stephen has his turned on. Um, oh. Fuck 3D oh. dice. We, we Each of us have individually have to turn it on. 3D device. <laughs> they just take up more processing power, you fucking moron. So, 3D dice recreate the uh, tension of the tabletop for the viewers. <laughs> So you can not only can you edit the program such that it'll dump what it learns into your system, but you can do it in such a way that when it sends the final report and and self destructs, it won't let them know that you did that. Yes. Okay. Good job. Okay. We're the best. Cool. Prosper right, like so Prosper actually like he grabs Piani in a hug and says, "Ah, this is the best." And then he lets her go. Like there's nothing more than that, right? It's just like super excited hug, but yeah. Yeah. So now all it takes is the to uh, install it um, and run it. Uh, do you guys want to do that? Yes. Well, I think, I mean, should we speak to L'Enfant? Yes, we should. L'Enfant! 
Yeah. So Pi yeah, Pi powers on one of the nearby screens, brings up the like blue that they use for their emoticons, and then over the speaker, uh, Pi's voice says, Yes, Prosper. Have you been listening to our conversation? I saw some of what you were doing. You remember that uh, you and I spoke earlier about uh, clearing the bad memory banks in your uh, memory subsystem, yes? I do. This has something to do with your conversation with Madame Durand? Precisely, yes. Now, I have a number of friends in my organization that uh, work with artificial intelligence like yourself. I was able to request a, um, a program from them that will examine your memory subsystem, scour it for bad data, and send a report back. Now, this won't actually change anything, and Piani here, she can vouch for the integrity of the uh, programs that we would like to run. It, it will not affect your functioning, but it will tell us more about where the problem may lie. Would you like to run this program? If you think it's safe. I do. It's Piani? safe. I do. Okay. Uh, you know, I, I guess I take the slate and I socket it into the, you know, wall monitor or whatever. Okay. And, and then here, actually, here it is by. like, Piani, Piani stops Prosper. Just sort of gives this, like, soft look. Like, like, you better let me do this. Oh, yes, yes. Yeah, and then... And then I, I just do it. Okay. So when you plug the program in, it, it uh, on the like hollow display, it brings up the like fleur de lis flag of of um, Cabral, uh, and I, just a simple prompt like to execute the question mark. Can you just turn it on? Do do okay. do. Yes. All right. So uh, a progress bar starts uh, on the on the current like uh, system manager, so you can see that there's this program running, um, and uh, Pi just says, um, huh, this is unusual. What is it? What do you it? mean? It's a strange sensation. I can feel it. Hmm. Does it hurt? Well, no, I don't think so. I'm not as familiar with pain as you are. Do you want and me I... to stop it? Just say so. No, I think it's fine. I... I'll let you know. Okay. L'enfant, do you know how long you expect it to take? Current estimate puts it at 12 hours. Excellent. Stay in touch. I will. Cool. Okay. I think Piani stays by the terminal, like, all 12 hours. Yeah, just like kind of nervously glancing at it while exactly. you do other things. Yeah, yeah. Like knowing that it's not going to make it go faster, it's not. But you're, it, you can't leave that status bar. Yeah, yeah. Because if there's an error and it needs you, and yeah, okay. Right. It's like waiting. It's like waiting for um, uh, uh, like someone to get out of surgery or something. And it's not like exactly. It's not like dangerous surgery, but it's like you know, you never know. You want to be there in case the doctor's like, oh shit, something went wrong. We accidentally cut their head off. It's exactly the feeling. Okay. Oh, yeah. All right, so. So you do that. You have other stuff like systems maintenance and whatever that you can be doing. But yeah, you're definitely distracted from it. And yeah, uh, I think I think Prosper probably brings Pia or Piani a coffee like at uh, like hour nine or something like that. Mm -hmm. Piani, I here, and I just like set it down next to Piani and leave. You just left. Yeah, after bringing putting a coffee down next to you. Chirp, chirp. I'm like, I'm like wondering, like what? No one does nice shit on this ship, so <laughs> like, I, I guess I just after looking back like twelve times, wondering like when he's gonna ask for. Oh, by the way, I need, it, and I drink the coffee. <laughs> okay, cool. So that's that's probably a good place. To oh, that's fucking horrible. <laughs> probably a good place to go to break. Yeah, I'm like you fucking eggs in here. What the <laughs> fuck is this? <laughs> you take you take a sip of the coffee, then spit it out on the floor, and then we go. We fade out to black. <laughs> there you go. Cool. All right, we'll take our first break. So I got three hours to go. The first hour went quick. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back uh, with hour two right after this. We'll see you guys in just a bit. <laughs> 